Stan is a very serious man. He's a dedicated scientist. He's got a great sense of humor. Uh, he's got good scientific ideas, and that's what makes him a great scientific collaborator. He doesn't tell a lot of jokes. Uh, on the other hand, I tell a lot of jokes. Some of them you don't want to hear about. There's a serious side and a hard-driving side of Herb that's right below the surface that sometimes people don't see. Stan is a great guy, and I just uh, enjoy being with him. You know, I think we made a rather good uh, uh, combination of talents. I met Herb at a scientific meeting. We were at uh, an East-West conference in Hawaii. We were hungry and were looking for a place to have a late night snack. And finally, we found a deli. The Waikiki Beach Deli, I, I, you know, it's, it's been uh, glorified uh, over the years. It was, a, I guess it was a Korean deli, but it had uh, a neon sign in the window that said Shalom. And we thought that might be a good place to get some good corned beef. Stan and I started talking about the experiment we were going to do. Uh, as a result of that uh, the collaboration that led to the invention of recombinant DNA. He and uh, Stan Cohen at Stanford uh, had a dramatically exciting idea uh, that is to use restriction enzymes to help put molecules together and be able to propagate molecules in bacterial hosts. Herb Boyer and Stan Cohen uh, created the, the, the biotech industry. It's essentially being able to take genes out of a human body and shuffle them around, study them to isolate the genes and attempt to understand how each gene functions and how it interacts with other genes. It's not just the joining together of ends of DNA, but the ability to propagate DNA in a foreign host. Everything that we do in, in medical science these days that involves explorations of, of mechanisms of disease, whether it's in cancer or cardiovascular disease or neurological disease, all of that is based on the use of recombinant DNA to isolate genes, to study genes, to sequence genes, to understand how genes work. That's all a fundamental process. I think our work had a major impact on science and, and uh, treatment of diseases. There are many drugs that haven't been available previously that now can be made with these methods. But for me, the real excitement has come from the knowledge that this, uh, these procedures has allowed uh, scientists to gain about the workings of cells in disease and in normal cells. There, there, there's a lot of knowledge of how genes function that's come out of the work. Herb Boyer in particular taking the leadership of starting Genentech in 1976 as the first biotech company and then developing Genentech as a leading biotech company and its products of insulin and human growth hormone. It has led the whole biotechnology industry. It will have an even greater impact in the future as we solve problems of energy and food and climate. The ability to take microorganisms and engineer them to do things is really the future. And Boyer and Cohen were instrumental in making that happen. I think that there are going to be more and more drugs that will come out of this technology and uh, there will be more and more information about how genes work. Understanding life and how it works is, um, I hope that's the future of uh, biotechnology and about biomedical sciences as well.